light up your drums with sound. Make your drums sound reactive using NeoPixels and Gemma, Adafruit's microcontroller. This build uses a mic sensor in Gemma to light up NeoPixels to the beat of a drum. Head on over to Adafruit shop for all the parts and tools needed for this project. Our guide has a tutorial and the Arduino code needed to run this build. First, we need to remove the heads from each shell. NeoPixels are addressable RGB LEDs and can be cut to fit inside our drums. Measure and cut wires needed for each component. Solder each wire to the Gemma. A circuit diagram can be found in our learning guide. Solder three separate wires to the breakout pins of the mic sensor. Cutting the positive wire on the rechargeable battery allows us to solder a slide switch for easy powering. Our three-piece enclosure will house the components. The design can be found on our Thingiverse page. You can also use an Altoids case. Use double-sided foam tape to secure the Gemma in the enclosure. The slide switch nicely mounts into the cover. Attach the hanger to the back of the case. Carefully fit the hanger onto the pin of the drum shell. You can thread the wires through the air hole of the drum shell. For an easy build, use alligator clips to connect the components inside the shell. Tape can easily hold each lightweight NeoPixel strip. Make sure to test each drum before putting the heads back on. Once you have your circuits working, place the heads back on the shells and tighten the screws. Cable tube organizers are great for protecting the exposed wires. We cut small pieces of tubing to secure our wires. The cost of this build is considerably lower than other kits. It's also compact, rechargeable, and mobile. Building sound reactive LED drums is a great way to get into DIY electronics. If you have an upcoming gig or going on tour, this DIY upgrade is sure to rock the audience. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more DIY projects from Adafruit.